NumSolve tips. So uh, we'll head over to the NumSolve application, tap on NumSolve, and um, here's the formula relating our three variables already. Notice when we type something like this in, S is equal to 3B over 2T. Um, when we press execute, that they are organized in alphabetical order. If I'd put equals, here we go, equals and get the keyboard up and variables S at the back end, and I'll just delete backspace there. When I tap execute now, S comes last in the list. So when you're setting up your formulas, it always pays to think about um, if there's a way you can arrange them for the one that you want to solve most frequently is the top one. This is the one that's always automatically selected, the very first variable it comes across. Let's um, backspace, backspace, and return our formula to how it was. So here we go, S is equal to and execute. Now, in this case, let's say we're trying to find B when S is um, 2.5, so 2.5, and uh, T is 15. So we set the variable against B and um, NumSolve only ever finds one solution at a time. So really we're better off using the solve application in main sometimes. Um, but often this is an easier way to work with a formula. So we're gonna, we've selected B as our unknown, we tap solve and ClassPad comes up with five as the first solution here. Now, um, suppose uh, we thought there was a negative solution as well. If we started off with something like negative 100 here and tap solve, now ClassPad has come up with negative 5 as a possible solution. So depending on what value is against the variable to start with, uh, for instance, if I change it to 100 and tap solve, we're back to being the positive 5 solution. Then um, it, it, what the initial seed is gets sort of um, results and can result in a different solution. So. Um, the other thing you can do is if you know you're only after a negative or a positive solution is to change the lower and upper bands here. So if we wanted a positive solution, we could change the lower band to zero. And even if we started off with a negative 100 before we tap solve, ClassPad then says, nope, I'll only give you a solution in this range here from zero to the largest number ClassPad can deal with. So we've got the possible uh, five on that one. If we want to reset these two, up under here, there is uh, initialize boundary. Now, the other one is um, some formulas can be hard to solve. So I'm just going to clear this one out of the way and uh, nip back into main and grab a copy of this formula. Edit, copy, back into numsolve and edit, paste and tap execute over here. Now, this is the compound interest formula, and I know that there's a few values that can upset this. Suppose um, we want a future value of $5,000, and at the moment our principal is $3,000, and um, the interest rate is 6.385, 6.385%, and we want to change that in... Um, uh, eight compounding, the time here is uh, eight compounding periods, and we want to know uh, how frequently sh should we compound our annual rate here of 6.385, should it be 12, 20, or whatever. Now, um, if I tap solve, let's see what happens. ClassPad says it can't solve this equation. Now, I know there is a solution, although it's um, quite a large number but it was just one that makes ClassPad sort of give us this message. So uh, adjust initial value or bands and try again. So it's saying maybe try adjusting the bands or maybe we should give it a guess. So maybe if we put in something like 500, that might work. Or if we know we only want a positive solution, we can tap in zero. But I'm pretty sure if we tap solve, it's still gonna say can't solve. Now that's because of this setting at the bottom here and uh, this is called the convergence and at the moment it's set to quite a high level, um, 10 to the negative 10, which is kind of, it's trying to solve this equation too accurately. So if we tap onto the diamond and turn the convergence say down to about four, which is basically saying don't be so accurate when you try your methods to solve this class pad. Now when we tap on solve, 
uh, it is coming up with a solution there. And um, it's saying there's a bit of error. Uh, the difference between the left and the right hand sides of our equations, if we substitute all these numbers in, is going to be 0 0.12. But um, that's a kind of 10 cents error in this, which we're pretty happy with. So um, just remember that if class but ever says it can't solve and you think there is a solution, remember to turn that convergence down. Um,